2017 in 7 of June of 2022. So some of the highlights of gamification is it helps teachers to create engaging learning experience with their students. So the teacher can create only gamified courses but not gamified lessons. La. So that's why you need to convert your lessons to courses if you want to take advantage of these new features for which students can be rewarded and motivated by experience point level and achievement. So one example of what I mean is if you go to yeah, you go to this thing, let's say it's in your own drive, so you navigate from here, you go to my own drive, resources, you go to my own drive, so it could be my own or shared, doesn't really matter. So the gamified courses will look something like this because it must be a course before it can be gamified. So let's say for example you try to gamify this, it will not work because this is a lesson. Oh, this is a lesson. So only this can be gamified. So how do you gamify this? Is you click on this thing here, and then you can see that uh, the gamification icon is, is blurred out. That's because to gamify you need to edit. Okay, just agree to the pop-up. And then after you do that, then you can see that the gamification uh, dialog box will now appear with all these uh, tabs for you to edit okay and then uh, so if first you must obviously you, you notice that this is un uneditable so first thing you need to do is you need to uncheck the you need to select the on for gamification then you can continue to edit and 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 so forth okay i recommend you use the default values for the time being uh, for ease of uh, deployment so once you have done that, and then you must of course uh, save it, then now you can see that this course has this gamified icon, of which then if I go back, then this, if I refresh the browser, then you can see that this new course has now the gamified icon. So the teachers can also view the student's progress. So how do you view the student progress is you need to go to the course, you go to the, the assignment, because the, the gamification can only be seen and, and interacted by the students through assignments. Uh. So once you go to the assignment, you need to go to monitor like any other uh, course. So the, the difference now is now there's an additional tab called game experience. Oh. So there's a, a to look at the student progress. So one of the tricks that you must do the first time that you encounter gamification in courses is you need to select this button to allow the leaderboard to be shown for students okay and it also says that you can manually teachers can manually award experience points and provide feedback to individual students so let's say for example you want to provide feedback to these students you can also select different students then you select via these uh, plus buttons on the this these three corners so let's say for simplicity i want to give some experience point to maybe say to kick start their you know their to, to make them motivated to to look at the courses that i have built in this gamification so i can then select and then give so just take note that once it's given you cannot take back so you see that once you have given the students the 50 points then it will be automatically added. So this is what it means by teacher can manually award experience and, and all that. So it's all over here. You can give all these other achievements. I have only shown how to give uh, award for experience point like XP. So the gamified courses can also be shared uh, via the community gallery. So what it means is you need to come to... So typically, I would recommend that you... Let's say you, you did some edits and then this this happens to be the the latest uh, version of the of the lesson then you can actually copy it to my drive okay uh, of course give it some meaningful name uh, you know so once you copy it to your drive then you can submit it to the community gallery so i assume that this is the one uh, is always sorted by the latest so this is the one that you want to submit to the community gallery. You can only uh, do it via the open. And after you open, you need to click on the three dots on the top right corner and then share submit for check for submission. 
which basically means that you need to um, give it to the community gallery for mesh sharing. So there will be some pop-up. So you just address these pop-ups, then uh, it should be okay already.